regarding KTU. Governor, some sorry, then. Governor, sir, regarding KTU, there are some reports that the VC uh, is not in a position to sign documents and he is not receiving supports from uh, staffs as well. So, what sir, can we do on this? Sir, not, not, not receiving, sir. not receiving support, or she is being stopped from perform, uh, performing her duties. Exactly, exactly. Eh? I mean, uh, she is not receiving support from staffs and uh, she is Question not is, not receiving support is a different matter. Not receiving support means if one is not supporting, you can ask the other person. Mm. So I am asking you, I am not aware, I am not here since last eight days. It is a question of not receiving support or she is being, obstructions are being created in the performance of her official duties. Exactly. I mean, such reports are coming that she is not in a position to perform uh, fully because her. of... Uh, okay. If that is the case, then we will see. Because it is clear if if she is being... Um, I have not seen any report. So, I have seen some report earlier. But uh, she had talked... She, in those reports, there was mention how threats are being held out. But if obstructions are being created in the performance of official duties, then clearly it is a, um, it's a criminal offence and uh, we will have to take notice of it. Sir, regarding uh, Priya Varghi's uh, uh, appointment, uh, do you think that your stand has been vindicated with the recent judgment? I have, I have again and again said, I am not looking for personal vindication. There is no personal fight with anybody. My job, my duty, my obligation is to ensure that the law of the land is upheld. My job is to see that the universities are free from executive interference. My, it is my duty to ensure that on the basis of favoritism and nepotism, because these people happen to be your relatives, they should be appointed in the university, underqualified, unqualified people. That will not be allowed. That is violation of law. And as long as I am here, that I will not allow. Only people who are qualified, people who meet all the qualification requirements of the UGC, only they will be appointed. So. I am not, honestly, I am not looking for personal vindication. I am not important. No individual is important. Yes. What is important is that the common man must have the feeling that he has, the, there is equality before law, equal protection of the law, and everybody is entitled, if she is meritorious, then she is entitled to be appointed to any position and appointments shall not happen on the basis that you belong to my party or you belong you are my relative that cannot be allowed and the so chancellor chancellor ordinance is on your court sorry uh, chancellor ordinance uh, approved by what government. what ordinance sir government plans to postpone the uh, government's policy address okay that that is not important how long can they postpone that is, how, how do you see that? Okay, I mean, okay, I will, I will tell you. Just one, second, one thing should be clear in everybody's mind. Governor holding the office of Chancellor by virtue of his position as Governor, ex officio Chancellor, is not because of the sweet will of any state government. Governor's ninth, Kerala state was formed when? I am asking you, when Kerala state was formed? 56. Yeah. Even before that, governor was the chancellor of the universities. So it is not a favor done by the state government to the governor. This is something on which national consensus was built and a, na and a national convention evolved that governors shall be the chancellor of the universities. Why? So that they can ensure that there is no executive interference, the university's autonomy is safeguarded 
and they are safeguarded from any interference by the executive. Any move, such they can try, they can try then anything. How do you see this? They audience? can't. They can. They how, how? They can't break a national convention. They can't break the national consensus. It is beyond their power. I'm telling you, it is beyond their power. So let them try. They what they are basically doing. They are upset with the ju judicial verdicts, and they want to divert the attention onto governor. This is not going to happen. If they will break the law, governor is the first uh, reviewing authority, but ultimately it will go to the honorable courts. So if they do something which is illegal, which is against national consensus, which is against national convention, then and which is against UGC regulations, that will be that, that, that will be reviewed by the honorable courts. So don't worry. Just, just a moment. Don't worry about these things. They are only now whatever they are doing, they are doing to cover up the embarrassment which has been caused. Sir, uh, now you... there is no doubt. You know, right from university to corporations, everywhere, only cadre people will be appointed. Government is elected by the people. Government will have to work for the people. Not for the cadre. This has become a government which works only for the cadre. The so cleansing act will continue in university. Yes, uh, not cleansing act. Universities have to be their pristine glory has to be restored, yeah. and they have to be freed from this bhai bhatija wad. This nepotism. You know that you are. Why? Why? I, I, I should indulge into it. The leadership will have to take the moral responsibility. And if somebody sitting in the chief minister's office is directing the vice chancellor to appoint his relative, if the chief minister does not know about it, it shows how incompetent he is. And if he knows about it, then he is equally guilty. Sir, they are leaving that you also appointed persons in your personal staff. Personal staff is purely choice of the person. Who appoints? I have appointed. Yes, there is a sanction. Is there? Tell me where violation of the law. I am talking. Uh, 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 will I don't appoint somebody? Then how will I be talking to you? They are my personal staff is totally different thing. And this personal staff whom they are objecting to, he belongs to your community, and he is one of the senior most journalists of Kerala. You are telling about Harris Karthik. I am, you are talking about him, I am not talking about him.